And then my question is, I own a small Pilates studio in um, the, the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm, um, there's about five or six trainers that work on my studio. I'm the only one that does, that's interested in paleo, that is passionate about paleo. The others like really kind of couldn't care less and they think I'm a little crazy. Um, but I've gotten some of my clients to try paleo and to switch to paleo. So I'm wondering, how can I make that more widespread? Because Pilates is not um, an exercise program that draws, that's connected with paleo the way CrossFit is. So how can someone like me in my business and others who have maybe similar kind of situations in their business, how can we make it a more widespread beyond just telling people you know, one at a time, what we do and what might be helpful for them. Um, th the irony of what, what I do, and, and I think what Rob does, uh, I have a website that has four million words on it now. I have uh, seven books that I've written and I published a handful of others. I do, a, I do events, um, I do um, seminars, um, I've got a certification program coming up. This is the shameless plug. And, um, and I could tell you everything you need to do to get fit and healthy on two sheets of paper. Probably in two paragraphs, but on two sheets of paper. So if you never mention the word paleo to any of your clients and you just said, here's what I think would work for you. Try a month and cut out all the grains. But here's the list of stuff that you can eat. It's amazing. Cut out all the industrial seed, the vegetable oils, and all of those nasty things. And, and Cut way back on sugar, and let's see what happens. Give me that. You, I'm, I'm your trainer. You know, you're invested in me for the, for the workouts, but let me help you get better results with a few minor changes in your diet. You never have to w use the word paleo or primal, and you will get 80 to 90% of the, of the most possible results just from those three little tidbits of information. And if, and if the rest of the world just ate like that, forget all the other things that are sort of next level shit, as we say, uh, that's, you're, you're almost there. So it's, it's really not that complicated, it's not that political, it's not that, you know, what, what you're gonna do is ask people to give up bread, cereal, rice, and pasta, which may be their entire diet, I don't know, but, <laughs> but that's, that's the tough one. But, if, but, if, you, but if, if that's all you distill it to in the first conversation, and say, and I've had tremendous results with other clients doing this, so, would you be willing to try that? That's a great start. And, and I tell you, we, when we first opened our gym, we had so many people come in the gym that were excited about training with us. And I started talking to them about neuroendocrine response and gut permeability and systemic inflammation. And suddenly I had wasted 30 minutes and the person left. And it took me a long, long time to figure out that, you know, like the tear sheet, like here's the bare bones. So we do these paleo challenges in the gym for both new clients and, and we do them on kind of a re recurring basis. But the educational level is kind of non-existent. It's just like pull these foods from column A, some foods from column B. It's, it's like my, my food matrix gig, grab some foods from here, avoid some foods from there, throw them together, eat to satiety. We'll track you uh, uh, as you go throughout the month, and uh, you know, based on if you aren't recovering enough, we stick some more carbs in. If you feel like you're not leaning out fast enough, we might pull some carbs down. There you go, and it's super simple. So, like the uh, uh, this is where the geeks go to hang out with the geeks, but you can't take this level of neuroses back to your clients <laughs> unless you want. If you want an empty gym. Go bring this back to them. But what you've got to take back to them is the confidence that you can help them and simplicity. Yeah, because I failed on that for a long time. 